Oxford Read and Discover, Level 5, Transportation, Then and Now, by James Styring. Read by Laurel Lefko. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2010. Introduction Transportation is the movement of people or goods from one place to another. We can transport things in the water, in the air, or over land. We can use animals, vehicles, or just our feet. Sometimes we travel for work, and sometimes for vacation or just for fun. What transportation can you see here? What transportation have you used? What other transportation do you know? Discover! Now read and discover more about transportation. Chapter 1 Then and Now Until about 7,000 years ago, people had to walk everywhere. Then they started to use animals for transportation. Later, people invented vehicles. Animals People used horses and donkeys for transportation in lots of places. People also used camels in Africa, elephants in Asia, and llamas in South America. People still use animals for transportation today. The First Vehicles People made rafts from tree trunks. They floated on their rafts along rivers and on lakes. It was easier than swimming, and they didn't get wet. These were the first vehicles. Sleds were like rafts, but they were used on land. They were useful because it's easier to pull heavy things than to lift them. The Wheel About 5,500 years ago, people added wheels to sleds. Farmers and traders made carts with two or four wooden wheels. Cows and horses pulled the carts. Carts with wheels were much faster than sleds. The wheel is one of the most important inventions in history, and today you can see wheels everywhere. Cars, buses, trucks, trains, bicycles, motorcycles, and planes all have wheels. Wheels are important in engines, too. Discover! A truck with a lot of trailers is called a road train. The longest road train was Australian. It had 117 trailers with 2,126 wheels. International Transportation Until about 10,000 years ago, people lived in small family groups and they didn't travel a lot. Then, as villages and towns became bigger, people had to travel to find food. People used animals to carry goods like meat and fur. Then, about 6,000 years ago, people started to travel long distances to trade metals, salt, and spices. Ships began trading in the Middle East 4,500 years ago. People used ships because animals could not travel over water. Soon, people were trading all around Europe and Asia. Discover! Traders took Chinese silk to Europe along the Silk Road 2,500 years ago. They used horses and camels to carry the silk more than 3,000 kilometers. Transportation Today Today, 
every country in the world uses water, air, and land transportation to trade food, fuel, clothes, and other goods like cars and televisions. Tourists started to go on vacation by train and boat 200 years ago. From about 1960, with the invention of large passenger planes, tourism became very popular. Today, about 900 million tourists travel to another country every year. In 2001, an American called Dennis Tito was the first space tourist. He flew in a Russian spaceship to the International Space Station. Will tourists travel to the moon one day? Chapter 2. Boats and Ships We use boats and ships to transport passengers and freight. Boats and ships can travel along rivers and across lakes and oceans. What boats or ships have you traveled on? The First Boats The first vehicles that people used on water were rafts made from tree trunks. Then, more than 5,000 years ago, people made canoes. They used paddles to power their canoes. People still use canoes today. Discover! In 1947, Thor Heyerdahl built a raft similar to the ancient rafts. He sailed Kantiki 8,000 kilometers from Peru to an island in the Pacific Ocean. The First Ships Egyptian traders sailed the first ships about 4,500 years ago on the River Nile. Later, the ancient Greeks sailed larger ships around the Mediterranean Sea, their ships were fast because they used sails, and at the same time, men rowed with oars. Traders sailed between the Middle East and India in small ships with triangular sails. Chinese, Korean, and Japanese traders had large ships with square sails. Chinese people invented the compass about 2,000 years ago. Compasses point to north, and they help people to sail in the right direction across oceans. They are still important for sailors today. Sailing Around the World The Vikings lived in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden about 1,000 years ago. They sailed around Europe and they crossed the Atlantic Ocean to Canada. At the same time, hundreds of ships were trading between Japan, Korea, China, and countries in Southeast Asia. From about 1500, European ships sailed to North and South America, Africa, and Asia. Their journeys sometimes took years. A lot of ships sank during storms. The ships were small, and the sailors were brave. Pirates often attacked ships and stole gold and silver. After about 1800, ships became important for international trade in goods like coffee, tea, and spices. Ships became bigger, and they had a lot of sails to help them go faster. Ships with Engines Steam engines powered most ships after about 1850. Steamships had propellers, and they were faster than sailing ships. Today, we make modern ships from metal, and their engines use oil or diesel. There are about 35,000 commercial ships around the world. Freighters carry food and clothes.
Super tankers transport oil, and cruise ships carry passengers on vacation. Korea builds the most ships in the world. Discover. Some super tankers are as long as the tallest skyscrapers. Nock Nevis is 458 meters long. Sailors use bicycles to travel along the ship. Chapter 3 Trains, Buses, and Trucks Transportation became much faster after the invention of engines. We use buses to transport people and goods, trucks to transport freight, and trains to transport people and freight. Trains In 1804, Richard Trevithick built the first train in Wales in the United Kingdom. Its steam engine used coal to heat water. The hot water made steam, and the steam powered the engine. The train moved along two metal tracks called a railroad. In 1825, the world's first railroad system opened in the United Kingdom. Soon, railroads with steam trains were common all around the world. By 1930, steam trains could travel at about 150 kilometers per hour. In 1862, the first underground train system opened in London in the United Kingdom. Today, more than 160 cities around the world have underground trains. Modern trains have electric motors or diesel engines. Some long-distance trains have restaurants and sleeper cars with beds for passengers to sleep in. Trains are good because they use less fuel per passenger than cars, buses, or planes. Some high-speed trains can travel at more than 300 kilometers per hour. Discover! The longest train journey in the world is 9,288 kilometers. The Trans-Siberian Express takes six days to travel across Russia from Moscow to Vladivostok. Buses Horses pulled the first buses 200 years ago. Buses became popular as cities became bigger because people traveled on buses to get to work. Modern buses have diesel engines or electric motors. Most buses can carry more than 40 passengers, and some very long articulated buses can carry 120 people. In many countries, special buses take children to school. In places with no trains, buses carry passengers long distances between cities. In some countries, buses carry a lot of passengers and goods. Where the hills are very big, people use trucks instead of buses because they are more powerful. Trucks Trains can only go on railroads, but trucks can go anywhere where there are roads. Trucks can carry many different things. Tanker trucks carry gasoline or milk. Refrigerator trucks keep food cold. In mining areas, people use huge trucks to carry coal and rocks. Long trucks often have a cab for the driver and a separate trailer for the freight. The cab with a separate trailer helps long trucks to turn. Some cabs have a bed, so the driver can drive a long distance and then stop and sleep. Discover!
One of the biggest trucks in the world is the Terex Titan in Canada. Each wheel is bigger than two people. Chapter 4 Bicycles and Motorcycles In busy cities, bicycles and motorcycles are useful. They are narrow, so they can go past cars and buses in traffic jams. Can you ride a bicycle? Bicycles The first bicycles were made of wood. Then, after 1850, they were made of metal. Early bicycles, called high-wheel bicycles, were uncomfortable because they had no tires. The front wheel was very big, and there were no gears or brakes. Cyclists often crashed. Modern bicycles are safer because they have brakes and their wheels are both the same size. They also have rubber tires, so they are comfortable. People cycle to work or school and for fun and sport. Bicycles are good because they don't produce pollution. Discover! There are 1,000 million bicycles in the world and only 600 million cars. How Bicycles Work The cyclist sits on the saddle and turns the pedals. The pedals move the chain and the chain powers the back wheel. Gears help the bicycle to go faster or to go up hills. The cyclist stops the bicycle with the brakes. It's good for cyclists to wear a helmet and gloves. These protect their head and hands in a fall or a crash. Types of Bicycle BMX bicycles are small. They are for doing tricks. Mountain bikes are for off-road cycling, so they have thick tires and strong frames. Mountain bikes are one of the most popular types of bicycle. Racing bikes are light. They have narrow tires, and they can travel at 40 kilometers per hour. The most famous bicycle race is the Tour de France in Europe. The race is about 3,500 kilometers, and it usually takes 23 days every summer. Recumbent bicycles look funny, but they are very comfortable. The cyclist lies down, and the pedals are at the front of the bicycle. Discover! In 2008, Mark Beaumont cycled 29,440 kilometers around the world. He visited 20 countries in 194 days. Motorcycles Motorcycles can carry one or two people. The engine powers the back wheel with a chain like a bicycle. Motorcycles are heavier than bicycles, and they have a strong metal frame and thick tires. Motorcyclists have to wear a helmet and leather clothes to protect themselves. Motorcycle racing is a popular sport. The riders lean very near to the ground so that they can turn quickly. Some motorcycles can go faster than 300 kilometers per hour. Discover! In 1991, Yasuyuki Kudo rode for 331 kilometers on the back wheel of his motorcycle in Tsukuba, Japan. Chapter 5 Cars Cars are the most popular type of motorized transportation. We use cars to go to work or school, 
to go shopping and for vacation. There are family cars, fast sports cars, and special cars like police cars and taxis. The history of cars. Can you imagine a world without cars? We have only had cars for about 120 years. People laughed at the first cars. They were slow and noisy. Two German engineers, Daimler and Benz, made the first car with a gasoline engine in 1885. It only had three wheels. From about 1905, companies like Rolls-Royce started to make cars. They were very expensive because people made each car by hand. Then, in 1913, the Ford Motor Company started to make their Model T car in a special factory. Ford's factories produced cars quickly, so the Model T was less expensive than other cars. By 1927, there were more than 15 million Model Ts on the roads. Gasoline in the USA was cheap, and people wanted to travel long distances, so by 1950, American cars were large. In Europe and Asia, drivers preferred small cars that were better in city traffic. How Cars Work Most cars have a gasoline or a diesel engine. The driver starts the engine with a key. The engine can power the front wheels, the back wheels, or all four wheels. The driver uses the pedals to go faster, to change gears, and to stop. Drivers of automatic cars don't need to change the gears. Cars usually have five gears for going forward and one gear for going backward. The driver turns the steering wheel and the steering wheel turns the front wheels. You have to wear a seat belt to protect yourself if there is a crash. Airbags also protect you, but older cars don't have them. Cool cars. Sports cars, like the Bugatti Veyron, are low. This helps the car to go fast because air can move easily over it. The Bugatti Veyron goes faster than 400 kilometers per hour. It costs 1.5 million U.S. dollars, and the people who make the cars have only sold a few hundred since they started to produce them in 2005. The Peel P50 is the smallest car in the world. It was first made in 1963. It's 134 centimeters long and 99 centimeters wide. Its top speed is 61 kilometers per hour. Discover! The world's longest car is the American Dream. It has 24 wheels, and it's 30.5 meters long. It has a swimming pool, and a helicopter can land on it. Chapter 6 Aircraft People have dreamed about flying for thousands of years, but there weren't any planes until just over 100 years ago. Before planes, people flew in hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. How do hot air balloons fly? Hot air goes up. A fire under the balloon heats the air inside the balloon, so the balloon goes up. In France, in 1793, the Montgolfier brothers 
built the first hot air balloon for passengers. Airships Airships were popular between 1900 and 1940, and they are popular again now. Inside an airship, there's a gas that is lighter than air. This makes the airship stay in the air. Airships have engines, and they can fly at 90 kilometers per hour. Planes Planes have changed a lot since the first flight by the Wright brothers in 1903. For many years, planes were wooden, and they had two pairs of wings. Today, people make planes from very thin metal and plastics. Airliners can carry hundreds of passengers and their bags. Planes carry freight and letters, too. Some very rich people have their own small plane. Concorde was an airliner that flew between 1976 and 2003. It could fly from Europe to the USA in three hours and 20 minutes, twice as fast as other airliners. It flew at 2,140 kilometers per hour. Discover! The biggest airliner is the Airbus A380. It can carry more than 850 passengers. It's a double-decker, and its wings are longer than a soccer pitch. How Planes Work Planes usually have engines on the wings. The wings are a special shape. When air goes over the wings fast, the air under the wings pushes the plane up, and it flies. The engines make the plane go very fast. Pilots sit in the cockpit at the front of the plane. They use the rudder to turn left and right, and they use the tail flaps to go up and down. The wing flaps control the speed. Passengers sit in the cabin. Other Types of Aircraft The Daedalus is a very light plane. A person pedals the plane like a bicycle. Helicopters have rotors above the cabin. The rotors lift the helicopter into the air. Helicopters are useful because they can keep still in the air and they can fly in any direction. Planes can only go forward. Planes with skis instead of wheels can land on snow. There are also special seaplanes that can land on water. Space shuttles and rockets take astronauts and machines into space. Discover! Yves Rossi from France is called Rocket Man. He has built a very small plane with four engines on the wings. Chapter 7 Around the World Most places in the world have vehicles like cars and bicycles, but some places have special types of transportation. What do you think these are? Nunavut, Canada It's very cold in Nunavut in the north of Canada. Some Inuit people use dogs to pull their sleds over the ice and snow. Today, many people also travel by snowmobile, a small, motorized vehicle. Kangai, Mongolia In Mongolia, roads and railroads go between cities, but in the Kangai Mountains, there aren't many vehicles. 
farmers use a donkey or an ox to pull their carts. Traders use camels to transport goods over mountains and across deserts. People also travel long distances on horses. Venice, Italy. There aren't any cars, buses, trucks, or even bicycles in Venice. This is because there are no roads. The city was built on a lot of small islands, and there are bridges between them. People walk on small roads called paths and over bridges, but most journeys in Venice are by boat. People take water buses to work and to school, and water taxis to the airport and to the train station. Ambulances and fire engines are boats too. The people of Venice have traveled by gondola for hundreds of years. A gondolier stands at the back and powers the gondola with an oar. Today, most gondolas are for the tourists. Delhi, India. Delhi is a busy city, and the traffic is slow. Most people travel on buses, trains, or underground trains. Bicycles and rickshaws are also popular. A rickshaw is a cart for goods or passengers. A rickshaw has two wheels, and a person pulls it. A cycle rickshaw has three wheels. The front is like a bicycle, and the driver pedals the rickshaw. An auto rickshaw has a small engine. It's the fastest type of rickshaw, but it's noisy, and it makes a lot of pollution. Oxford, United Kingdom. Oxford is a small city. And there aren't many hills, so bicycles are popular. Also, bicycles are cheap, and people enjoy cycling in the fresh air. Many of the city's streets are small and old, so it's much quicker to travel by bicycle than by car or bus. Some cyclists carry their shopping and even their dogs in baskets or bicycle trailers. People enjoy punting on the river in Oxford. A punt is a wooden river boat. To move the punt, you push on the bottom of the river with a long wooden or metal pole. Chapter Eight. In the future, the world needs to produce less pollution. Electric motors produce less pollution than diesel and gasoline engines. Will all vehicles have electric motors one day? What will transportation be like in the future? Cars. Some modern cars use biodiesel. Biodiesel comes from plants, and it's a clean fuel. We can also produce clean energy from the sun and the wind. Machines can put this energy into batteries that power electric motors. In the future, most cars will have electric motors, or they will use biodiesel. Ships. After one hundred years of ships with engines, sails. Will be important again for ships in the future. Sails will help to power ships, so they use less fuel. Solar vehicles. In some countries where it's very sunny, there are solar cars. They use energy from the sun. Most solar cars are racing cars. The fastest solar cars travel up to ninety kilometers per hour. 
people have made some solar planes too. Solar planes are very light, and they can't carry much. Maybe more vehicles in the future will use solar energy. Trains. Maglev trains use magnets to float in the air above the track. They are much faster than usual trains. Will maglev trains be common in the future? Air travel. Passenger planes with scramjet engines will fly faster than five thousand kilometers per hour. A scramjet plane will fly from New York in the USA to Hong Kong in China in ninety minutes. This journey takes fourteen hours in an airliner. The only problem with going fast is that it uses a lot of fuel, which produces more pollution. Space travel. Do you dream of being an astronaut? Perhaps your dream will come true. Soon, tourists will be able to travel a long way above Earth in space planes. Space tourists will see Earth from space. It won't be cheap, but it will be an amazing experience. What next? What transportation will you use in the future? What about an electric bicycle? It has a small electric motor that makes it easier to pedal quickly. An electric bicycle is great for going up hills. Or do you want to try a personal transporter? It has two wheels and an electric motor. You lean forward to go forward, and to the left or the right to turn. It can travel at twenty kilometers per hour. A jetpack has one or two jet engines, but it doesn't have any wings. It can fly anywhere. Do you want to try a jetpack? Where will you fly?